So for today, I'll be making a video uh, basically revolving around one comment I got from the Solar 3.0 armor video, essentially uh, pointing out that the Warlock is essentially kind of like an afterthought. I'll read it right now. First two look amazing. Lots of time and effort went into it, but it seems that that's where you stopped. The Warlock looks extremely bland and like it was an afterthought. Sad days for me as I main Warlock, but amazing job on Hunter and Titan. And usually these kind of comments kind of... Uh, they don't piss me off, really. Uh, they make me a little sad more than anything else because the Warlock is, is actually the the class I spent the most time with because the Hunter and Titan, I really knew what I wanted to go with. Uh, I knew I wanted to go with the helmet for the Titan and I knew I wanted to use the new shader with it. The Hunter, same thing. I knew I wanted to use a Carminica shader because that one specifically has an orange glow and coupled with the boots from the solar armor, I need I knew I needed to use an orange uh, shader so the funny thing is the warlock actually took me the longest because I was like throwing ideas around on what I wanted to use originally I didn't want to use sun bracers I wanted to use something else but I ended up using sun bracers because it has a glow that's really it uh I will give you guys three looks for for the warlock specifically no other class just warlocks we're going to be using the sun bracers the ornament for the sun bracers and the dawn chorus as well because i feel like that's a really cool exotic look wise uh but if you guys want me to use another exotic let me know in the comments below i mean this video i was not planning to do at all and that comment really motivated me to make more sets for that because i don't i don't want to i don't want to seem like i'm half-assing the class because i'm really not but this is just gonna show you guys like what I would was what I was actually thinking. I will at the probably after I show you all the armor, I'll show you my thought process of where I was going with it because the warlocks really really changed a lot. So if you guys like this type of video, so if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help the channel grow because a huge portion of people that come into my channel are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe really does help the channel grow. Only if you really like the video, honestly, but. Other than that, let's get into it. So this is my Warlock. This is one of the looks that I have so far. This is, I'm using Sun Bracers for this one just because of the glow, honestly. If there was more Sun, or if there was more exotics that had a glow, I would easily be using them. But they have to have a, a certain uh, amount of checkpoints that I have in my head. Like first, they have to be able to be used for the solar subclass. So I can't be using something that's for arc because that would make no sense. The other thing is I want them to have a glow because that way I can really showcase the solar aspect of it. Uh, you guys will see what I mean when I go on to the last armor because it looks good. It's just it's not solar in my head. So for the helmet, we're going to be using the Nemean helmet because it's one of my favorite helmets in the game. Uh, it does have a little bit of glow, but honestly, I'm just using this because of uh, the sleek profile. It looks very regal and when you pair it with the chest piece that I'm wearing the celestial robes I feel like it really Really makes this whole set look more regal This is what I should have done for the warlock in that video because this is using the Carminica shader Which is one of my favorite shaders the hunter was using that and the reason I'm using this is because of the orange glow that you have on these like celestial things I forgot what they're called but this is definitely what I should have done for the Warlock video. And I do apologize if it came out like I was half-assing it. I really wasn't. It's just that I did. I honestly forgot the Celestial Robes existed, if I'm being quite honest. Because I rarely use my my Warlock. For the boots, we're still going to be using the Dawn Singer boots. Because I really want to still use these. Because I want to have the arms, the chest piece, and other pieces on their own separate videos. Because I really do like a lot of them. And then for the bond, we have the virtuous bond, which again, I don't know why I didn't use this. This looks way better than the one I used before. It's just overall a lot better. This armor set looks a lot better. It looks a lot more thematic to solar, it has a lot of orange glows and whatnot. And overall, I'm just a really big fan of this one. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, again, the commenter, I do apologize, but this is what it should have been. So next, uh, so next up, we're going to be looking at the ornament for Sun Bracers. And the ornament for Sun Bracers is Eyes of Mercury. This is like literally one of my favorite pairings to, to do with uh, the Sun Bracers because Eyes of Mercury looks super beautiful, has really cool feathers, 
And when you pair it with the first frost shader, the glow that you actually get from it is almost one to one with the or with the glow up here. So this is definitely one of my favorite looks in the game. I've done this look before, which is not a surprise. Uh, I have it on my Instagram if I remember correctly, and I have done a video on it if I remember correctly. Uh, for the for the shader, this is an old shader. Uh, it's it's a really old shader actually. It's uh, from Season of the Undying, which is Shadow Keep or Shadow no, uh, Shadow Keep, Shadow Keep whatever either way it's a really old shader it's one of my favorite shaders because of the beautiful pairing uh for the chest piece we're using the light kin robes the reason i'm using this a is because the fur really lends itself to the feathers here and i also didn't think i would need another glow source because i already have enough glow sources i don't think i need more i think right where I'm, I'm at is fine you uh for the helmet we are using celestial cover but if you don't want to have the helmet have a glow which is fair considering we have a lot of pieces that are already glow then you could use the other piece that i was wearing before this one which is either the seventh serif hood which i actually like you could use pathfinder's visor which i'm not the biggest fan of but the one i was using is iron forerunner i love this helmet combination uh, co with combination of everything else i feel like this looks very good uh but the reason i'm using the helmet is because i feel like it does pair itself better because it has the glow uh for the boots we're using the virtuous boots this one is one of my favorite boots in the game for warlocks considering it's one of the only ones that have a really good glow onto them uh there's other pieces that do have glows don't get me wrong but they're pathetic most of them are pretty that bad or like specifically this one you can't change the white so the virtuous set is going to be the best set if you want to showcase your boots have some sort of glow and then for the bond we have lux bond this is one of my favorite bonds as well because the glow is so really it's really well done if you don't want to use this and you want to use a more brighter look you could do the liminal uh limit liminal voyager bond you can use this one this one's also really good uh, the reason I'm using it is because I always pair it with it, and I actually really like uh, wherever. Yeah, here it is, Lux. I, I really like how the Lux Bond came out with it. So, this is Eyes of Mercury. Definitely one of my favorite ornaments in the game for Warlocks because it get, it makes the Sunbrazers have a different glow. Uh, the reason I didn't do this for the solar look is because for me, when I think of solar, I think of orange, I think of red, I think of yellow, like. I think of those colors specifically, which is why I didn't use Eyes of Mercury, but I'm using it here just to showcase like you can do something like this as well, which I think looks really cool. Next one is Dawn of Chorus, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of how that video came to be. And last but not least, we have Dawn Chorus. I will explain why I'm using Dawn Chorus when we get to the later portion of the video, because I will be explaining uh, my thought process on each of the solar exotics for Warlocks, because it's pretty bad i'm not gonna lie to you guys so for the helmet obviously we're using dawn chorus this is one of my favorite exotics uh look wise for the warlocks just because it looks so cool i know a lot of people are gonna think i'm weird for that i'm gonna be alone for sure on that but i definitely think it's one of the more stronger looking exotic it's just that people are kind of intimidated by it or they just they just immediately think of bug eyes which is fair uh, for the arms and the and the chest piece, I'm using a combination of the Apilos following for the robes and the arms are the corrupting echo just because obviously they pair really well together. And then the boots, I'm using the psionic speaker boots only because we don't have like a really good bony look uh, aside from the where is it? Where is it? Uh, this one right here, which I'm already using the arms. I didn't want to use the boots. I could use the Resonant Fury, which actually would be a pretty good choice, but you know, now that I'm looking at it, it is a better choice. So we're just going to do this real quick. So that's the look because it just, it looks a lot better. The pointy boots just give it that much more of a presence for the bond. We're using the Street Scholar bond only because uh, I actually like how the red glow. I really do like it. Now, the problem with this is it doesn't have, it has red, but it doesn't have yellow. It doesn't have orange. It doesn't have a solar feel. The only thing that is really solar about it is the fact that I'm using Don Chorus. But if you're a new player, or you just don't know what Don Chorus is. 
so some people would be like, why is this solar inspired? I don't see any fire. I don't see any of the colors. So that's why I ended up using what I ended up using for that one video, uh, specifically for that hunt for the warlock, because let's look at the exotics real quick. Uh, for the Warlock specifically, all you guys really have is Dawn Chorus, Sun Bracers. Uh, you could use Verity's Brow. You could use uh, a lot of uh, like the classic Gnostic ones, like Verity's Brow, Eye of Another uh, World, the uh, Stag. You can use a lot of those, but they're not inherently solar. Like Sun Bracers is a perfect example of something that's inherently solar because not only is it a solar exotic, but it also has fire in the forearms why I'm using those. I understand why people wouldn't want me to use those, but it's the best case of showing solar, which is why for the hunters, I ended up going with the new exotic. The, where are you? Where are you? Oh my God. Where are you? Right here. Caliban's hand. I ended up using Caliban's hand because a, these blades are very, very heavy on solar. I know every class has a blade, but for me, this is this is more of a solar thing because the proximity knife, the heavy weighted knife, it's just we throw knives in that in that subclass. Uh, don't get it twisted. Shards of Galenor specifically with the ornament would definitely have been a really good option. But and I even say it in the video, Shards of Galenor with the ornament is going to be good. I even say it in the video, but it personally, I think that with the golden gun on the hip, and Caliban's hand using all those knives, I felt like it was just a little bit more thematic. Uh, and again, for the Titans, the best choice was Lorelei Splendor because of the literal fire that's on the helmet. There's, there's no, well, there is another one that I was thinking about using, which is the Hollow Fire Heart. I think the Hollow Fire Heart would have been a fantastic choice with or without the ornament. Honestly, both are really cool. So for the Warlocks, like I said, you guys don't have much that's really, really solar themed. You have Prometheum Spur, which when you have your super all the way up, you actually do have like fire going through these holes right here and you even get fire claws. But again, you only have that when you have your super on. You don't have it like just at default. If it was at default, don't get it. Oh, I, I would have used that instead. Um, you could use transversive steps. It's a really good class agnostic one. You could use wings of sacred dawn, you Phoenix protocol, you can boots of the assembler again, rain of fire, another good one. It's just that they don't inherently look solar to me. Not enough. Uh, the only one that would look solar would be Phoenix protocol with one of the ornaments, specifically the bird one, this one right here. This one would be a perfect example of it. And I did end up using it, but I just decided not to because again, if there is more fire or something along those lines, it would have been really good. But even with uh, the Carminica shader, I was just like, it's not enough personally for me. Like the thing I don't, I, the thing I didn't want to do was I wanted people to look at it and immediately think, oh, that's solar because I don't want to use something that's specifically like uh, rain of fire. I could have used rain of fire and then made it all bulky and then be like, this is a solar themed armor set. And if you don't know what rain of fire is, then you would have just thought, no, it's not You're like it's a tactical look more than anything else. Same thing with Prometheum Spur, same thing with Phoenix Protocol, Wings of Sacred Dawn. Uh, again, Claus Von Kara, another perfect example. So this is more to showcase why I use the pieces that I did. But with this look specifically, I do think I kind of half-assed it a little, maybe, maybe a subconsciously, because now that I do this one, I'm like, I should have done this one. I don't know why I went with the other, the other look, but to be fair, the, the reason I went with the other look is because I wanted a more regal warlock that was showcasing solar themes. So I still stand by that armor, but at the same time, I understand why people think I half-assed it, which again. I actually took the most time with that one because now that we're done explaining all of that, let's look at where my head was actually going for that whole set. So it's, it's pretty rough because where my head was going for the warlock armor was actually a bone themed armor set. So I was thinking of using this helmet right here and I usually never do this, but again, I don't, I don't want to see, I don't want it to seem like 
like I half-assed it or like Warlock's not my favorite. I really don't have a favorite, although I sh probably shouldn't say that because my Hunter is my favorite. But when it comes to like like fashion and whatnot, I don't really do. I don't really. I don't really have a favorite. I like everyone pretty much the same. I just think that the Warlocks are the hardest ones to fashion because your chest piece has to be really good, and if it isn't, then you're gonna suffer. So for the chess piece, I actually was ended up, uh, or I was going to go with the, uh, this one right here. And then for the boots, if I remember correctly, I was going to go with something along the, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. Cause this was like two weeks ago. So my memory is a little hazy on it. Um, so I think this one, so somewhere around like this, I was going for, and here's the problem. A, the bone up here doesn't change color. This is, this is a color that's just going to stay like that all the time. Uh, B, this has to, this has to match this color up here because they're both bone colored. And the other problem is depending on what shader I put it out, it will actually change the glow on the helmet. So now my head was going to i have to match this color but also not change the color of here because i'm obviously trying to combine it with the with the with the arms so there's a few shaders i was going for if uh my hands keep sh uh can stop shaking i'll show you guys so again uh i was going for a specific shader which kind of freaked me out this one this is the shader i actually saw and i was like this is close enough that it actually doesn't bug me and I got it to an even cooler spot where I ended up using this one right here. So I ended up using something like this where I was like, it looks pretty cool. I don't like the red because there's no other red here. So I did end up just switching out to, if I remember correctly, it was this one. I think it was that one. And I actually didn't mind this. I I actually pretty much liked it because it, the color right here matched pretty well with this one right here. Um, and the red is just light enough that it actually matches with here and then the chest piece has the red as well so overall i was like this is looking good so far this is looking really good and uh i think one of the reasons i just didn't go for it is just because i felt like i was reaching too much like if i'm being honest this bone color is not the, a one-to-one -one for that like it really is not it's very, very close but i feel like this is a little bit more desaturated than this one and that's where I'm like, my perfectionist came in and I was just like, I need to find a better shader. I never found a better shader and I just kind of gave up on it. But this was originally, well, not the boots and the, and the bond, the boots. I was in, I don't remember the boots I was using to be quite, oh, I think I was using this one or the other one. This one right here, where are you? This one, either or, uh, but we'll go for we'll we'll go with the raid one just because it looks better, and then for the bond the bond I don't remember. Fuck it, we'll use this. So like something like this is what I should have gone in my first try because I actually don't think this looks bad, uh, but it looks bland in my opinion. Like color color like specifically the color looks bland to me, which is why I didn't want to go for it, uh, which is why I went with what I went with in that video because I really like the darkness of it with the glow on the actual armor set so yeah this is originally what i was going for and i still don't think it looks bad it's just that i'm stupid and per like kind of like a perfectionist when it comes to shaders and i just thought like this is not close enough like or it's cl it's not close enough for me to like ignore it so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, Eclipse, I hope you guys, I hope you like this. I made this video specifically for you just to really tell you that I didn't half ass it. I really took my time with it, but I guess it just looked bland or subconsciously I just kind of gave up, which is fair, I guess. So hopefully these armor sets really showcase that I really did. I really do try with the Warlock because the Warlock's the hardest one for me personally. Uh, because if the chest piece is off, everything is going to look terrible because the chest piece is literally the whole armor set, if I'm being honest. So 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. Again, I appreciate you all, and I don't want it to come across like I hate a class or anything because like, I really don't. I like all the classes. I love all the fashion in this game. It's just that some are harder than others, and the Warlocks, I think, have the hardest fashion in the game. So be safe, and I'll see you guys later.